Hello, it's time for another episode of Coffee and Portal. Ah, well, you know how it works. We will pick a test chamber. Now, I had started one earlier, but it was raining and the power went out for a minute or second, long enough for my computer to uh, shut down. Uh, and I was playing a goat. A goat made chamber. Uh, well, I can't find it now. Hmm. Well, this one looks interesting. There's no, uh, no little uh, map, a uh, little icony picture of the test chamber, so I have no idea what it uh, is, but it is called Delivery. It is made by the user Frosty Andy. It does have 3,252 ratings and scores a very impressive four and a half little bluish green circles sounds pretty good let's uh, let's play it welcome test subject it's Cave Prime from Earth One I am speaking to you from across time and space I am wow. literally in the future I hold on all right, my assistant Greg tells me none of that's true. Got excited. Oh. You are oh. the first test subject we have ever sent into a parallel universe, which apparently has nothing to do with time travel. Still wow. exciting. Anyway, you should be seeing a test chamber in front of you. We designed it. Those backwater universe yokels built it, and you're going to test it. Remember, you got to let us know if it works or not. Otherwise, you're wasting everybody's time on two Earths. I will do right, that. Get to it. <coughs> and here we go. Wow. We've got uh, a cube just fell through a laser field of death. Uh, excuse me, just one second. Okay, I'm back. I'll edit that out. You'll never, never see that I was gone. Well, we have our exit there. Looks like we get there with this uh, elevator platform. We have, uh oh, we have laser turrets. It bursts into flesh. Get it started. Get it started. It's right and it's rising. It's rising terrible. Oh my, get out of the way, please. It's burning and bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning fast. And all the folks between us, this is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's just it's, it's spiking, running. Oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky, and it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now, and the flame is rising to the ground, not quite to the morning mass of the humanity. Well, uh, that was kind of stupid on my part. I was going to just step up across the glass and taunt them. <coughs> Excuse me. And they blew my brains out. Okay, we will not do that again. Okay. We have the force field. We have a button there. Now, if we had a cube to put in there, we would have the button pressed. Once we press the button, it... Ah, that appears to open the door. Okay. It also appears to... lower the...
Wait, if the if that button both opens the door and lowers that. Oh, that's because see the door will be open and that will come down. And to get it back up we will have to close the door. And then we will have to Okay. Uh, it does not appear that we can grab the cube, nor can we jump down there and get it. At least not at the moment. Uh, okay, we have the bouncy gel. To get the bouncy gel, we have to push that button. Okay, let's get to, fir to work. Uh, first, we must. Uh, let's see, we got the blue there. Let's uh, put an orange one here. Move it down there. Uh oh, that one's not dead. There he goes. I believe they are all dead. Yes, they are all dead. We now get bouncy gel. Well, for a second there. Okay, where do we want to put the bouncy gel? What do you Use will the bouncy gel do us? Can we get it over there and just bounce up there? That would uh, certainly make things much easier. Somehow I don't think that is the answer to our problem. Yeah, we're not going to be bouncing up there. Okay, if we come in here, we we have water and we have a uh, Oh, that does just turn that off. Okay, so so we have to get that cube. To get the cube, I think we will need bouncy gel. And we should be able to we have to set down it's going to go bouncing around again. Okay, I guess we... First thing we have to do is get a portal on either side of this. Like such. Now. Wow. Actually caught it. Now we can bring this in here. Rinse the bouncy gel off of it. Set it on there. Which allows us to... You okay, Susie? That's my new dog. She has got some kind of a sinus issue. Took her to the veterinarian again today. And hopefully she will be better soon. Um. 
Okay, where was I? Let's see, we want the cube to... Ah, yes, to do that. So we need the cube... Out here, we have the blue one there. We can put the orange one here. Grab the cube. And come out here. And of course, now I'm bouncing around because of all the bouncy gel I put there, needlessly. Okay, so, we have... Let's put the orange there. The blue there. And put that in there. We then move the blue here, which you see the cube will drop down, go in there. Now we stand on here, we move the blue back to there, which will bring us up here. And we move the blue back there, which opens the door. Okay, well, that one was uh, not too difficult, but it was entertaining. I will give that a thumbs up. <clears throat> and I really wish they had more like a scale that you could... Because see, like your ratings, uh, you get between one and five little bluish green circles, but you only get to give a thumbs up or thumbs down. It would be nice to give a range of uh, answers, but I do give that a thumbs up. It was, like I say, it was pretty easy, but uh, it was entertaining. Uh, it seems like I really haven't been playing too long. I could play another chamber, but see, the problem with that is the next one could take me hours. See, it's just... Now, what was the... Well, the, I was doing one earlier that was made by... Go, was it this one? Yeah, it had three bluish-green circles. Uh, yeah, I believe that was it. But I don't know if I'll be able to finish that one in like five minutes or ten minutes to keep my video uh, fairly short. So maybe I'll make that another episode. That was null. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, so until my next episode, uh, stay tuned. I will see you then.